Dear Mum, it's hard. I miss you. I cannot believe that you have been gone for almost four years now. How are things in heaven? I hope they're great and then you're dancing and listening to Dancing Queen by ABBA on repeat, obviously. For me, things have changed. I'm no longer doing little athletics. It was something that we did as a family. Dad and I went back after we lost you, but it just wasn't the same. We still have your sausage roll recipe mesmerised down to the last measurement. I have taught Nana and the cousins too. Every time I make them, it brings back memories of you and me cooking in the kitchen. I still listen to the songs we used to turn up in the car, like I Believe in a Thing Called Love and Lady Marmalade. Those are both on my Spotify playlist. I have since found a song that symbolises you in mine and Dad's eyes. The songs Pink Beam Me Up. I have started high school. It's fun but a bit challenging. I'm learning so many new things and meeting so many new people. I wish you were here to share all these experiences and adventures with me. I'm finally old enough to ride with Dad on the back of the Harley Davidson. We always take it to visit you at the cemetery. Dad always tries to ride in quietly, but you know how he is. It never really works out that way. I like to bring you something like shells. I always try to bring the prettiest ones for you. I am now lucky enough that my foot fits your Converse shoes. I know how much you loved them, especially the sequin ones. But don't worry, I am taking very good care of them all. My favourites are the rose gold shiny ones that match your best friend. Speaking of friends, my best friend Izzy is still by my side. She told me when I found out your mum passed on, I cried for hours. Our friendship is special. I feel like she gets me so well and we clearly have bonded over the years I've known her. She is so supportive of me and always comforts me. Indy and Misty miss you too. When we first lost you, Indy kept looking around for you and Misty kept meowing for you. When they did that, it made me quite sad. Knowing that they miss you too made me also glad. When they did that, I used to sit with them and maybe shed a tear or two. Overall, we're still not quite used to you not being with us. I've gotten used to getting out two plates and not three. I love to dust off the picture of you in the living room every now and then. It makes me so happy. I made a candle for you and I also light it up every now and then. I miss you down here. I hope you're happy and you're flying high. Emily.